All right, we'll sneak up on him. This is breaking news here. The breaking news is Robin. Yeah. Robin, now the Robin C, we're going to talk about that in a bit, but here we go. We're buffing away. Yeah, we're buffing away. Buffing away. Can I buff while you do that? It'll make a lot of noise. <coughs> we're going to, this, this is kind of a uh, update. I haven't been doing updates. I've been Buffy. working. Vouch for me. Have I been working or what? Yeah, man. I was here. Hot rod. Yeah, I was here until 9.30 last night. That's what I told my wife. I was actually here longer than that. But. Well, we don't do time and a half, so you're kind of out of luck. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. You're, I'm the unpaid consultant around here. We, we so, yeah. Great time but I'm building hot rods. It don't get better than that. This is looking good. So we're just going to walk around and do an update today, but we've been doing this one a little bit. This is Arnie's car. We kind of changed up on what we're going to do with gauges, but that's fixing to be wired pretty soon and go down and meet its chassis. So very good. All right, Don, you're making too much monk noise. What are you doing? Making a 32 back window frame. 32 back window frame. So what they look like? No, that's just a support for it. Oh. Making it stronger. <laughs> Making it stronger. Yeah. We got cars everywhere. I don't know, pick a name. What's the name on that one right there? Is this the one you're working on? Yeah. Dale. So we got Dale through it. This we got Dale's 30 uh 32 five window happening. We got a five window over there going on, model A's. 32s, 34s, so actually a bunch of them went out. Brian's car went out this morning, went to Louisiana. So that's good. We got bodies happening. Kind of catching us right around lunchtime, but uh, there's sort of a quick update. Looks like the same cars, but it's not. It's actually kind of different cars just moving around. So we're getting some delivered and, and getting, getting the thing kind of flowing. So what's going on here? I go to the body shop for a minute. Now you got the painter over here and we got our upholstery guy over here. Just mixed around all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Working on Joe's car. What did it take two of you to put that carburetor on? Yeah. Or did you have to use one a motor hoist? Ends. Look one, at the size of that. going to have to go get the forklift. Wow. Yeah. That's those boys did go up there and get a forklift. <laughs> I didn't know what they were doing with that. No. So what are we doing here? I'm fixing it. Start getting a throttle linkage hooked up. I've got to run the cable through the firewall and get up here and get so when you mash in there this will open up oh, we want to mash in there and yeah just don't have your hand close when this opens up right there i bet there'd be a rushing. vacuum <laughs> be a vacuum wouldn't want to hand choke it think you'd suck your arm in there <laughs> the size of that thing. yeah man cfm what is cfm on that i wonder i'm not real sure so. hurricane style so anyway, this is See coming together. It's massive. It's massive. It's <laughs> massive. So we got Joe coming together. Motor coming together. So this is. I got the. Do some wiring next. And, trans dipstick in there while we're Oh, you got. That's right. You were working yeah. on that earlier. Yeah, that's the way this good. comes out at the bottom, there's a ledge down there, so I had to make a spacer to bring it out. If not is going to rub up against the firewalls. Got that going. Wow, pretty clever. I know where that spacer came from. Do you? I've been no, I was here till late last night, <laughs> putting some of those spacers in around the windows on the on the thirty-two five window. Exactly. Yeah, that's a window but channel. I had to drill one side of it bigger, work and go in there and screw uh -huh. in there, and then have these offset where you screw them in there to hold it. So it's holding it good. Now this is a locking one, so you put it down in there. And well, you figured it out. Twist you were, show, it, you were showing me that locked. before and couldn't figure out how to do yeah, it. Yeah. That is a pretty good idea though. Uh huh. Well, if it rolls up pressure, it ain't gonna blow the dipstick out of it, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Cool car. I haven't done that for a while, blowed off one of them oil cover things. Yeah, no it's doubt. Gotta be vented, otherwise they'd be driving down the road and go pop. Yep. <laughs> what was that? That pretty red fluid just going yeah. to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, but we have, we have big news. There's breaking news. You know what breaking news is today? What's that? Did you help unload it? No? Yeah, yeah. You did? Motor? The motor. Yeah. You know whose motor that is? Sitting Blue. in the background there? Blue car. I bet it's the first person that watches this video when I upload it. <laughs> yeah. It's Robin's wife who watches this video and make a comment. Yeah, yeah. She, right. yeah. So we're, we're getting on Robin. The uh, Oh, I need this. So he's wanting this painted black. 
What? Okay, right here. No, yeah, we're gonna repaint. These don't like blue. We're gonna make it black. No. We got both got it. So the transmission will be here. Motor's here. We gotta dress it out. But he wants the motor and transmission gloss black. Okay. Well, I believe all he's gonna have to do is clear it. It's already black. <laughs> well, maybe that's all we need to do. I usually hit it with a well, well, Robin, when you watch this, Nathan we'll will be calling you. I'm going to find him. He'll be in the video here in a little while. Look at that. There's a the flywheel. Oh, he's getting a forklift. So we'll talk about how we're going to build flywheel this Flywheel bolt. Yep. Cool. Hey. Oh. We don't know if we want dual carburetors on this yet or what we're doing, so we're going to... So the target is this. This will be this will be on you. Is uh, next week by about Wednesday. Let's get the motor trans put together. Okay. Get it black and get it in the car so yeah. we can get the body that, on and we can I, start sorting. Yeah, it's a one piece rear main seal. There's Nathan. He just wandered in. So let's get on him and see what he's got to say. Okay. There he is, my man Nathan. In the flesh. You know. Most everybody comes around. We're looking at Robin car right here. It's got some dust on it. We need to get this motor in. We got the motor trans. Eddie's gonna paint it first thing Monday. That's your job to make sure Eddie paint or Ed, not Eddie. Ed paints the first thing Monday. It's supposed to be black. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna put it in so we can get the body on, get things cleaned up, get this moving ahead, and then kind of research what we got, what we don't have, what we need to do, what's next. And then you need to call Robin today. I guarantee you, I think I've already said it, but uh, his wife is going to be the first one watching this video when it gets uploaded. So say hi to her. Introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Nathan, and we are pushing on your car. Yeah, <laughs> we, and I am pushing on Nathan. That's my job. But uh, my, my job here, basically, I've been focusing on getting products going. And your job, what's your job? I am the production manager now. Your production. So this, most everybody that comes watches the videos. Would you say that? Watch the videos? Yeah. A lot of people that come to buy our cars, to pick up the cars. Oh, yeah. That's like, yeah. so it's like a little small family. So we, Alan Green watches them at three this is kind of, we're sharing our drama with the world. Yeah. So we might as well at least let everybody know, Sean is no longer with us. Nope. Sean is not here. We wish Sean well. He's doing some other things. And you are now a production manager. Yes. And what is your job? I make sure, well, I fix, I give out orders, and I make sure we are getting what needs to be done on a day-to-day -day basis. And getting it done? Yes. Not just calling the customers saying we ain't got it done. No. Your job is to get I'm it done and to call a customer say it it's done. almost done. Yes. <laughs> Come get it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We got your job description down. And we're working on parts, clean up parts, and you're going to answer the phone? Oh yeah, I answer it every day now. Try to call back when I can. Okay, so gets callbacks when you say I, when I can at some point quickly. Through the day, yes, I get to where I can call. What's what's your phone number over here? Josh is still over at the other building at 870-425-5900 if you want to order a part. So if you want to follow up or ask a tech question or whatever, you probably need me for tech questions. But uh, We do have a new email too for the production side too. It's production at spiritcars.com. Yes, so you are officially production at spiritcars.com. Yes. And that is the new email that they will need to get a hold of if they need to know anything about their vehicle frame. It doesn't matter. They need to. That is the new email to get a hold of. Okay. And Nathan and I talk very regular during the day. Yes. And night. Yep. And early morning. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so if Nathan knows it, I pretty much know it. But I am, I'm taking my time and focusing it mostly in production. I mean, I was here late last night. I'm here every day, even on the weekends now. Yeah. I did a couple shows, though. Yeah. I hadn't done that for years. I took the weekends. Congratulations to Brian, if you've been following that. He won every show he was in, took his class. They measured him up for his jacket. Looks like he's got the jacket, so he's going to finish the series. But he did, did well in points for the series. So this is Robin's car. The Robin T, it's way cool. If we'd have wiped the dust off before I did this, it'd be even yeah. way cooler. Oh, check this out. That's cute. You know what's in there? It is a brass radiator. I know. Don't, let's not take it out because, oh man. 
So we got lots of brass parts for this. So extra, extra care when we start putting this together. Again, once we get that motor and transmission in here, we can put it all then we can it. put the body on. Let's get it wiped off. We'll get it under tarp. Um, um, we've actually delivered a couple cars. So we have tarps without cars under them. Yes. Yeah, so cool. This one's pretty close. I mean, once we get that motor and trans in here, we get it on, we'll get the parts sorted out and find out exactly where we're at. It's a priority. It's a huge priority. Yes, it is. And so. we've talked about this multiple times, and we're at a spot now to where we can. Here's our main priority. Okay. Right here. We'll do this. Let's let's run up to Trinity. This is kind of a. Uh, I'm editing this video together. We're not live right now. Okay. We'll just kind of show around some of the other stuff we're doing. So, we might go up to Trinity and talk about some of what's up there. Jim's car is up there. We'll talk about that one too. Let's do that next. So on our way to Trinity. Super Bell dropped off. We got lots of steering arms in there. That's for UTI. So Alan was here. This is Alan's. He was here yesterday. He was here for a couple days. He was here Thursday. He's from, where's he from? Connecticut or Rhode Island or somewhere? Rhode Island. Rhode Island. So yeah. it was great visiting with Alan. He didn't want to be on video. So he went home, but he spent a couple days. He got to eat some Herschel lunch. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was good. So let's get a Ford motor. Pretty much mocked up. This would be a turnkey car. He added a couple things. What do you add? He added bumpers to it while he was here and the backup, that, uh, backup camera. Uh, I did it. Oh, column. and I did it column, yeah. fancier column. So anyway, that's uh, picked his color, a nice green color. Yep. So Alan was here, so you don't need the update, but we were working on Alan's car and we got a couple other cars. I mean, there's cars everywhere. <laughs> yeah. We got, uh, what's the name of this guy over here? Go we're going to change out the... Scott Campbell. Scott. So we're going to change out Scott's rear end. This is a spirit chassis and a spirit body. Really cool old rat rod, but he didn't like the didn't like the back the way it was working for him. I said, "What's wrong with it? Looks cool. I can soften it up for you." And he just wants to go coil over shocks. Go to and the gearing isn't right on that old rear end, so he's wanting to do ten bolts. So we're going to work on that one. All right, we made it up to Trinity. Do we talk about Jim's car first or all these UTI cars? I say we do Jim first. And then just Jim, we years. have the front end. We were having issues with the front end, getting it on, doing the thing. I came up last week. No, this week. It was this week. Put the front end on. So now we're about to get this thing together. We're missing a... Stud. I don't know what we're missing. One of those studs. Anyway, we're going to start putting together the blower motor on it. We got the wheels. We got the tires. We got... Gauges are in, it's wired. This is this is coming together. Pretty slick. I can see that checkerboard floor through the through the paint. Pretty easy. <laughs> so this is coming together pretty quick. So that's where we're at with Jim. We waited a long, 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 long time for the spring behind front axle, four-inch drop, but there it is. I've not got it all tightened up yet, but we gotta adjust it, get our caster camber right. And uh, getting close, getting close. So there's the update on Jim's car. So what we got going on UTI here? We are ordering everything, and we are going to do all 12 back to back. We're going to bring up everybody. Not everybody, but we're going to bring up a bunch of people. We're just going to knock these out. Boom, 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 boom. All 12 of them. Shift three at a time. Oh, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm building a sculpture. <laughs> if I don't sell, <laughs> if I don't sell, here, have I got it here? Okay, here we go. Isaiah, this one's for you. Isaiah with RPC. So I've got the brake bracket. UTI doesn't want brakes on their cars. The kids are freaking out. When they put the motor in, the only purpose of the car is to go on the dyno and dyno the motor. They're jumping on the brakes in the middle of their dyno run. So, Burning them up. <laughs> the folks from UTI said, do not put brakes on them. Make them steer. All we got to do is get them up on the dyno. So these these gets a NOS in it and everything else, and it, it turns into that. So the way these come packaged with the brake kits, the spindles, the brake comes with it, the brake bracket which means I've got 12 times two is 24 of these. 
So you know what I need to do? I call Isaiah, Isaiah over there. He's Mr. Make It Happen. We will make it happen. We are fixing the supply chain. So I'm going to build a sculpture. I haven't built a sculpture in a while. I can see it now. I have 24 of these that I can use. <laughs> I've got a bunch of old drums over there. Yeah. I've got a name for it. Making it happen. It's my sculpture, making it happen. So what perfect stuff can you use to make it happen? Brake parts. <laughs> so we're going to stop to make it happen. <laughs> I told him we're going to go to Indiana at the show with him. And we'll, we'll put the make it happen sculpture out there to stop people in their tracks to talk to us. So I, I've got a vision. <coughs> I think I'm going to um, build it up on a basis of a coral reef. You know how coral is, coral keeps building on itself and the yep. old coral's got to die for the new coral to go? Yep. We're just building on the old stuff. So that's my... Uh, you ever you ever go to the art shows or you go to the art museums? I can, I don't picture you as being the guy to walk in. No. <laughs> I I like to go to art museums actually, and then you sit there and you look at it, and go, what in the world was this guy thinking? <laughs> so anyway, when you see making it happen, that crazy dude that's going to make it is that's what he's thinking. So there it is. It's time for you to go call Robin. Robin, yep. And. Uh, a bunch more going on. I mean, there is. This is. Uh, we're building this body. Still haven't got it running. Um, Dan Cox. Say again. Dan Cox. Dan. We don't. We don't like to use last names, but we can. So we. We'll get Eddie up here when he's up here, and when we're all doing this up here. I put the old radiator in. We're gonna get this running. We're building his body now. His body's down in the body shop, isn't it? Yes. Yep. So it's got a five window. We're going to get it going, get it going. Who's doing Lots of cars over there. Milner, I believe, right? Well, yeah, let's walk, let's walk down here. Let's, might as well make a long video. If you've stayed in our video this long watching it, hey, we appreciate you. And if you're not watching it, well, you're missing some good stuff here. So this is uh, Arnie. Yep. Here's Arnie's chassis. He wants his calipers painted red now. Okay. So that should be cool because you can see through the wheels. No, it'll be cool. This is the one that the, the metal plate car. So it's about uh, about to go on the ground, but we're going to paint calipers now. And this one, we are painting the body now. Yep. As soon as Ed is, Ed is done buffing, we'll be on this, this is um, Kurt. Kurt. Kurt's car. So we got to change up the, the brakes on it. We got to do a few things. Um, I've decided I'm going to build this car myself. I'm not gonna sell it like it is. It's, we're building it. This is one, I, I wanna get this done. This is a cool, my lay sedan, we widened it six inches. It's been sitting here as an undone project for years. I'm gonna finish it, widen it. I may go to Louisville next year and we'll put that in as a new product. We'll pull a mold off of it. Looks good, looks clean. It's a get to done. Someday project, we get some of this other stuff done. I'm gonna sell this too. I'm not gonna make this my daily driver. I got me that uh, new truck. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. Yeah. I like that. So we're gonna turn this into into cash and turn cash into this thing. And we got a couple other cars that we'll put together. So that's what we're doing. So if you're interested in the 58 Chevy truck, let us know. I don't wanna do anything to the body. Uh, it'll be running. We've gone through the brakes, gone through the motor. Just a nice rat rod. Good patina on it. Changed out all the metal already. New wood in the back. All we got to do is finish it. There we go. Say goodbye and go say hello to Robin. I'm calling right now.